Hello everybody. Welcome, welcome. This is Chastity and Amber. Hi. We are in the office today. We're practicing our social distancing, but we wanted to do another live um, to show you guys what we've been up to. So um, I'm standing in the um, in the inside the office and kind of like our back area where we do our check in check out I wanted to show you guys that we have been doing some remodeling since you all have been away and we've done some painting and we've gotten a new door oh yes a very <laughs> nice but um so we just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit talk a little bit about reopening and um just to kind of get some conversation going to see what you guys have been up to. And so feel free to share with us um, how your your quarantine has been going and share with us what, um, what have you missed the most from us. And it doesn't necessarily have to be something from here, but just tell us, share with us what you've been missing the most and what you can't wait to get back to. So whether that's going out to eat at a restaurant or going to the hair salon or just being able to do play dates with, with friends and... Um, and, and things like that with your kids and your kids' friends, whether it's um, coming into the office and getting a facial or um, injectables, just let us know below what uh, what you've been craving, what you've been missing the most, and we could talk a little bit about any products or services that you may have questions about. Just uh, we wanted to let you know that we've been busy here the last few weeks. Dr. Melly has done some, like we said, some renovations, a little bit of uh, remodeling. So there's a different look um, when you come into the office and we think that it looks very good and we're very pleased with it. We've been doing a lot of cleaning, sanitizing, getting everything ready for you guys. And we actually, um, we do have our own cute little masks um, that we just took off to do the video because it's kind of hard to speak with them. But um, we got some cute masks and um, we're gonna be inviting our patients um, to wear masks when we reopen. So we are, of course, adhering to the governor's recommendations. So we don't want to um, do any type of official announcing of when we'll be reopening, but um, we're looking at mid-May. We are rescheduling patients to start coming in mid-May, and we're hoping that that's still gonna hold. Um, and we hope to see you guys soon. So um, you've probably gotten some phone calls from us if you were scheduled in early May. and We've rescheduled um, out for later this month. Hi, Cece, thanks for tuning in. And um, we're hoping to see you guys mid-May. Um, our wellness side for weight loss and wellness um, debuted their opening today. So um, you are still able to do virtual consultations. That is completely up to you. And going forward, um, we're going to do our best to accommodate things like that. So for those of you who do not feel comfortable coming out yet, um, you can definitely, we will try to do as much with you virtually as possible in ways of uh, consultations and uh, provider visits and things like that. So, um, she needs a peel. All right, Andrea says she needs a peel. Who's that? Miss Andrea. Hi, Andrea. <laughs> I think we all need a peel after all that we've been having to go through and everybody having to stay home. Um, I know I'm definitely ready for my own services as well. I have missed everybody in the office, um, all of our office family. I've missed our patients. Um, so you can actually call the office and we can get you scheduled for um, a chemical peel. The number here is 910-295-1130 and we're just putting people on the schedule um, in hopes that we're going to open after, um, you know, the suspected date of May 15th, but, you know, everything's still up in the air. We're still going um, by the governor, governor's recommendations. We are... Um, you know, listening, tuning in daily to him just so that we can find out what's going on. But uh, give the office a call. We'll get you scheduled and, um, you know, talk about maybe some skin care. This is a great time right now that if you guys are at home and you're, you know, with two months without a treatment from us, then, you know, if you're not on your skin care at home, um, it's the perfect time to maybe do retinol, which Chastity has talked about earlier in the week, or I believe last week she was talking about retinol. Alicia's talked about the Neuderm system. So there have been lots of things that we've talked about and we've covered in our lives that if you're not doing it at home, then please call, let us get you started on um, some products 
so that when you do come to see me, your skin is prepped and um, you get better results from your peels or your laser treatments or whatever it is that you do. Um, whenever you've been prepped with the right products, um, you have that much, your results are that much better. Does anybody have any questions? We have been shipping out products daily. So um, for the past several weeks, one person has been in the office manning the phones and emails and, and answering your requests and shipping. And just this week, we've geared it up a little bit, having two people in the office to try to um, make sure that we are ready to go when we get the green light to reopen. So um, we are anxiously awaiting your arrival. Um, when some changes that we're going to implement when we do reopen, we're going to be spacing the appointments out give give people um, more time to um, do their screening ahead of time and just make sure that our patients aren't coming into contact with other patients and to make sure that um, make sure that you're coming in contact with the least number of people office staff as possible so um, you'll be calling us when you get into the parking lot and we'll have a staff member come out and um, take your temperature and um, hand you any forms or paperwork that you need and then your provider will be the one to escort you to the room for photographs and then um, take you to the treatment room and we're just trying to ensure that you have the least amount of contact with um, staff members and especially other patients as possible so we are doing we are putting um, um, some things into effect to uh, policies and procedures to help protect um, protect everybody when we do reopen so we are gearing up for that and um, so if anybody has any questions about any services what services are you guys um, missing missing the most we want to hear about what you're looking forward to the most coming back to see us Chastity, what are you looking forward to um, well, since I'm pretty good on my disc port still, mm. I mean, I, I would love some lip filler. <laughs> some lip filler would be great. Do you agree? I know you're a big lip filler fan, too. I, I do like receiving filler. I also um, still anticipating uh, my laser treatment. We were so revved up before we, you know, had to shut down. Um, Oh, yeah, what were you going to do? What were you going to do? I was going to do the, the Icon treatment uh, with Alicia. The Icon has been amazing at removing hyperpigmentation, which I have had to battle ever since, you know, um, becoming pregnant. Oh. Um, so Your kids are on here. They said, they? hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> they said, don't blame us. No. <laughs> I meant, to, I meant to tell you they're on there. They said, hi, Mom. Hey, guys. I'm glad that y'all are watching, and I hope you got all of your schoolwork done. I hope that Dad was able to, you know, get those Zoom appointments uh, squared away this morning. I know that it was his first time uh, doing Zoom this morning, and that is a whole other story. So if you guys are at home oh. doing virtual schooling, if you are a teacher and you are doing virtual schooling, hats off to both sides because it is a challenge and I've got three kids in elementary school. So there's a fifth grader, a fourth grader and kindergarten. Kindergarten has been super fun. Um, I've had to go back and relearn some of my elementary school math and I'm not ashamed to say. So Khan Academy has really great learning videos, but back to what we were saying, um, what were we saying? Oh, for <laughs> melasma. You were getting melasma. You were talk, excited about yes. your laser treatment for so melasma. So, hyperpigmentation. I do uh, follow up at home with hyper uh, with our Abashi products. We have um, our Nuderm system. We have our C-Clarifying system. And both of those systems, you can actually get um, products that have hydroquinone, which are going to be um, great for helping with hyperpigmentation, uneven skin tone. Uh, melasma and CNAs that I am prepped with my products. I was looking forward to getting an icon treatment with Alicia and um, just to kind of help keep it at bay, um, help to prevent any new melasma from forming or coming to the surface rather. And um, it, it's also a great anti-aging. It's great for tightening, um, acne scars, post, you know, post-acne. Um, 
Do we got somebody saying something? Oh, your Aubrey and Josh are giving oh. you a shout out. This is okay. Aubrey and Josh, and then um, Brandy. We do not do electrolysis, my friend. Um, I think so. I was doing some research on electrolysis because um, our patients that come to me for consultations who are not candidates for permanent hair reduction laser hair removal. Um, the closest I've found for electrolysis is in Fayetteville. Um, we don't know them personally, but I was looking up on the website trying to see like as far as like good reviews and things like that. Um, there is a place in uh, Fayetteville that does it. Um, so the, um, the reason why somebody would not be a candidate for laser hair removal for permanent hair reduction is that their hair is um, too light. So the laser is targeting melanin and it will only see dark hair. So it has to be brown or black in order for the laser to detect it to be able to destroy it. So if your hair is blonde, red, or gray, then um, the laser cannot see it and cannot destroy it. So um, electrolysis would be your option for permanent removal that way. So I don't have a specific name. I just... Um, I looked up, you know, electrolysis near me and a place came up in Fayetteville and then I have had at least two clients during a consultation that have um, that have said good things about this place in Fayetteville that does electrolysis. So if you are not a candidate for laser hair removal because your hair is too light, then um, we do offer waxing um, here and um, we can do that in Amber. I was skilled at doing say, that. Yeah, electrolysis is also a commitment. So a lot of times with the permanent hair reduction, some of the questions that we get is, you know, how many treatments until all my hair is gone? And, uh, you know, how many treatments do I need to do this or that? Um, in reality, your hair will never be gone because you're, and especially as women, um, we're hormonal, whatever. Um, so we will constantly, you know, we can form new hair follicles, but um, we can d certainly damage the ones that are already present um, in hopes of shutting that down. And it's the same scenario with electrolysis. Um, it's several treatments, you know, going um, into an office somewhere to be treated. So if you have red hair, blonde hair, gray hair, and you want to remove um, a hair in an area, then we absolutely have full body waxing and we can set you up with an appointment at your, um, as you desire and as soon as we're open. All right. So, um, let's see, as far as procedures getting, looking forward to getting procedure, but as far as administering, I'm looking forward to getting back to injecting some Botox and Dysport. I know a lot of patients are missing that, especially, um, you know, Warmer weather's coming up, and hopefully we'll all be able to get outdoors a little bit and go out a little bit more. And you know, one day we'll be able to go out to eat again and <laughs> and go out to um, like down. festivals and birthday parties and weddings and things like that. So um, usually the summer season we gear up for a lot of injectables um, because people um, are have lots of weddings and, and events and things to go to so it's usually a fun time um, so hopefully this summer we'll get to um, gear up for that as well so what else did anybody uh i'm looking forward to actually getting back to doing some facials i miss uh, my regular facial patients i miss being able to just set the atmosphere um I, if you know me well enough, you know that I absolutely enjoy extractions, so I do miss doing extractions on a case-by-case -case as needed, um, and I enjoy just seeing everybody, hearing about your, your lives. You guys know us, you know our families, you know um, just so many different milestones we share together over the years, so it is going to be nice to catch up with everyone once it's once we can reopen and get back to our new normal. And as Chastity was saying, um, as you guys come to the office for your future appointments, you're going to just give us a call as soon as you're in the office, or soon, as soon as you're in the parking lot, and we will then come out and uh, give you anything that you need for your appointment, let you sign your consents there, um, and of course, you know, just do the standard screening questions that everyone is doing right now. 
I had some phone calls. So we are um, available for questions, emails. Um, call us if you want to go ahead and schedule an appointment. We can get you on the books. Um, the rest of May, like I said, we're hoping to reopen mid-May. We don't have an exact date yet, so we're waiting for governor guidelines. Um, but the rest of May is looking really full. So we're booking you know, into June. So go ahead and, and get on the books. And... Um, if you need any products, we are still shipping, so uh, you can order online from our website or you can give us a call. Or if you would like to um, to come by and pick it up, we can um, have everything ready for you and you just call us when you're in the parking lot and we can bring it out to your car. And um, if you'll see our uh, live from yesterday, Alicia went over all of the specials. So um, we do have some cost savings um, for you guys. If you're interested in that, um, take advantage of that because once we reopen, uh, the specials will be gone. So um, we look forward to seeing you all and thanks for hanging out with us today. And we think you're gonna love the new look of the, of the office in here. And um, we look forward to seeing you guys. One thing for Dr. Melly, her schedule is starting to book up rather quickly. Um, there are hardly any places left for the month of May. Um, and she did say that for the, rem the remainder of the month of May, that she will actually allow every day to be Botox Tuesday. So if you guys did not jump on the uh, pre um Bank your Botox. Bank your Botox. Yeah. If you did not do your bank, bank your Botox, then um, you can absolutely still get some savings in the month of May because we will honor Botox Tuesday every day. Every day, Ooh. Botox Tuesday. Oh, very you nice. You get a Tuesday. Everybody gets a Tuesday. Yes, that's <laughs> awesome because we were running into trouble rescheduling people. Tuesdays we're booking up and we haven't put people on other days of the week. So it's nice that um, even if you're not booked on a Botox Tuesday, you'll still take advantage of that price um, through the month of May while we're trying to accommodate um, rescheduling and trying to space the appointments out a little bit so that um, we give everybody sufficient um, space when they come in to be treated. But thank you guys for tuning in and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.